2025 Hyundai Kona Expert Review. Pros. Edgy styling. Strong suite of tech. Spacious for segment. Cons. Waiting for the Kona N. Pricey upper trims. Hybrid not offered. There are so many subcompact SUVs on the market that it can be hard to stand out. But the Kona is one of those vehicles that breaks through the noise with its futuristic exterior design and high-tech interior. Hyundai rolled out the new second-generation model for 2024, so we aren't expecting much to change for the 2025 Kona. One of our favorite vehicles in its segment, the Kona should continue to put up a strong fight against the Subaru Crosstrek, Toyota Corolla Cross, and Ford Bronco Sport. What's new? For 2024, the Hyundai Kona received a new exterior design, and a more modern, spacious interior. All models receive a new dual display layout and over-the-air software technology. Other highlights include digital key technology, available all-wheel drive, and an all-electric variant. We aren't expecting major updates this year, but Hyundai could tweak the Kona's trim structure or add special edition variants. Although the high-performance Kona N has gone on hiatus since the second-generation SUV was introduced, we remain hopeful Hyundai resurrects its boosted subcompact for 2025. If a small electric SUV is what you have in mind, be sure to check out the Hyundai Kona Electric. What we think As the smallest SUV in Hyundai's lineup, the Kona has grown up as the rest of its stablemates have also matured. Wider and longer than before, Hyundai subcompact model wears futuristic styling made complete by the front fascia slim lighting accents. Although the Kona looks radically different on the outside, its non-turbo and turbocharged powertrains have carried over. Acceleration and efficiency suffer as a result. A new 8-speed automatic is smoother overall than the previous dual clutch, but throttle calibration is overly eager. Inside the cabin, Hyundai outfits the Kona with a slick dual-screen setup for infotainment and instrument displays. Overall, the interior looks modern and materials feel substantial. The center console is well-designed with plenty of storage for small to medium-sized items. Rear seat legroom and cargo capacity improved over the previous generation model. To get the 2025 Hyundai Kona you want, you may need to pay more than you'd expect for a subcompact SUV. The basic naturally aspirated engine isn't nearly as appealing as the upgraded turbocharged unit, and higher trims get expensive compared to entry-level variants. That said, we can't help but appreciate its high-tech equipment, intelligent packaging solutions, and quiet highway operation. Performance and MPGs Hyundai equips basic versions of the Kona with a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine developing 147 HP and 132 lb-ft of torque mated with a CVT. Front-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive is available. The EPA rates the 2024 Kona equipped with this powertrain at 27-29-2934 mpg city-highway. Those desiring more power should opt for the available 1.6-liter turbo four-cylinder standard on the N-line and limited trims. Output rises to 190 HP and 195 lb-ft of torque, enabling a 0 to 60 mph sprint of 8.5 seconds, according to our testing. Fuel economy isn't quite as good as the 2.0-liter engine. The EPA rates the 2024 Kona equipped with the turbocharged unit at 24-26-2932 mpg. What powers the Hyundai Kona Electric? Hyundai offers the all-electric version of its subcompact SUV in a few different flavors, but all variants utilize a single motor and front-wheel drive. For 2025, the Kona Electric Standard range should have a 48.6 kWh battery pack and a motor developing 133 HP and 188 lb-ft of torque. Long-range models receive a bigger 64.8 kWh unit and churn out 201 HP and 291 lb-ft of torque. For 2024, Standard range models are rated at 200 miles while long range variants can travel 261 miles per charge. 
Both versions of the Kona Electric make use of 400 volt electrical architecture, enabling charging from 10 to 80 percent in 43 minutes in optimal conditions. A cool perk of choosing the Hyundai Kona Electric is vehicle to load functionality, which means external accessories and devices can be powered off of the SUV's battery. All Kona Electric models are capable of one pedal driving and receive an illuminated charging port door. Hyundai offers battery preconditioning for better cold climate efficiency. Safety Features Hyundai is expected to equip the 2025 Kona with a robust suite of active driver assistance features. All models should come equipped with automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist. We anticipate that higher trims will be offered with Hyundai's impressive highway drive assist adaptive cruise control and lane centering. Other notable tech includes blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, rear occupant alert, automatic high beams, and driver attention warning. Cargo space and interior room. The 2025 Hyundai Kona's legroom and interior volume is expected to remain right on the mark for the segment. We've found the cabin to be spacious in our testing with plenty of cargo room behind the back seats. Legroom, front slash rear. Cargo space, seats up. 2024 Hyundai Kona. 41.7 slash 36.438.2 inches. 25.5 slash 63.7 cubic feet. 2024 Ford Bronco Sport. 42.4 slash 36.9 inches. 32.5 slash 65.2 cubic feet. 2024 Hyundai Kona. 41.5 slash 34.6 inches. 19.2 slash 45.8 cubic feet. Technology. Hyundai should continue to equip the 2025 Kona with dual 12.3 inch displays, composed of a center touch screen and a digital instrument panel. Expect standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, although wireless phone mirroring is only available on the base SE and mid level cell model. Other notable features include phone as key functionality, over the air updates, a head up display, a 360 degree camera, and an 8 speaker Bose premium audio system. USB C ports are standard, and a wireless charging pad is available. Key competitors Kia Niro, Subaru Crosstrek, Toyota Corolla Cross, Ford Bronco Sport.